Hey y'all and welcome to my second episode of my Shop My Stash series. I'm sorry that my face isn't in it this time. I've been dealing with a terrible toothache and um, yeah, I just, I am surprised I'm even up filming this video now. I was going to do it yesterday because I was going to have it up early today, but um, well, I was dying in bed. So we're here today. Today is Monday and we're going to do this and have it up by tonight. So let's go ahead and Shop My Stash and show you guys all the products that I did use and give you a little bit of uh, my thoughts and opinions on them and all of that jazz. Um, this is going to be, you know, since it's my second episode, it's going to go a lot smoother and I think a lot quicker than my very first one because I was having to take stuff out of the drawer and figure out what I wanted to keep. But now I think things are going to be easier to actually do now that I have like the drawer pretty much set in stone besides a few products. So um, I think this is going to go a lot smoother. So if you guys are loving the Shop My Stash series and give this video a big thumbs up, do not forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me and let's go ahead and get into the video now I know this desk is like disgusting and dirty and I'm still living out of freaking cardboard boxes and whatnot um <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, I was going to have a makeup desk by the end of the month, and I'm not sure if that's going to happen now, so I think we're going to have to deal with living in boxes for a little bit longer because I have to pay to get this stupid tooth pulled or I'm going to literally die. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get into my drawer. Um, I cheated a little bit, and I will get to that in just a second, but I want to get some of these bigger items out of the way. So I used the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette this time around. And if you don't know, my shop, my stash is going to be a two week thing. So every item in here I have to use and only these items for two weeks and then I can switch them out. Um, so I've been using this palette the most and it's, it's actually kind of surprising that every time that I've used this palette and I've worn it in a video, I've gotten more than one compliment on my eyeshadow and asking what palette I'm wearing and it's this one. I've been using this color as my crease color and then I've darkened it up with either this shade, this shade, or this shade, or I think, yeah, this shade. And I used this shade too the first time, but I've mostly used this one every time for my crease. And then I've put some sort of color on it. One of the last times I used this shade and then I used this shade the very last time and I also have used, I forget which shades, but I used a few of these. I used like two and I really liked it and I did enjoy this palette quite a lot that I'm kind of sad that I'm taking it out of my drawer um, because I do kind of want to keep using it because each time I've used it, it's come out really, really pretty. So that is that on this palette. And this is where I've cheated a little bit. So one of my subscribers, Sarah, sent me this with a package of makeup for me to try out. I want to see all the things that she gave me. I have it in my vlog number two, a little unboxing in there. So this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease eyeshadow primer. I stuck this in here and I used it because I was really intrigued by it. And guess what? My eyeshadow looked so good, like so good, like compared to the very first time I used that palette. The shadow was okay, but when I put this on the other two times that I used, used the palette, my shadow just stuck and it just, it looked better. Like how things just stuck and blended better with this primer on. So um, you guys, this is a win for a primer and I don't even believe in eye primers, but I believe in this primer. So just so you guys know. I did use this ColourPop blush. I know I'm like going out of order. I don't really care. We will be more organized the next time. So I used this ColourPop blush in Frisky Business several times. It's just so pretty and I can't wait to bust this out again. I don't even want to put it up, <laughs> but I need to uh, try a different one out and I really like this. And this is going to be really pretty in the spring, especially with like a lot of like peachy pink palettes and neutral palettes, but um, I do really love this blush, but it's time to go and try another one. Here I have the Madison Miller little midi palette that has two highlighters and a blush in it. I used it for the highlighter only. I used this highlighter once and after using other Ofra highlighters, I kind of stopped using this one. I used it once and I was like, you know what? I like the other one more, but you can tell I've gotten use out of it like I have, but I haven't really been in like the pinky mood lately, so I only used it once and I didn't use the blush. This one, however, the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Club Highlighter and Glazed Donut, 
Oh my god, I've used this one every single time I wore my makeup except for two times when I used that highlighter and then I used the ABH that we're going to get to soon. But this one is like my, this is my favorite highlighter I think um, out of all of my highlighters and that's hard for me to say because I have a few other favorites but as of right now I think this one's like my absolute favorite so Ofra highlighters are literally out of this world. Like, I can't believe it took me almost my whole entire life not using Ofra highlighters, but I really want to keep that in, but I can't. Let's get to this Morphe um, Hi-Fi, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's the Lo-Fi 8L Highlight and Contour Palette. I have a few thoughts on this. So I started out by using this shade and it was patchy and it was terrible and it was ugly and it was very muddy and all of these are way too warm toned where they look kind of red on the skin. Even this one kind of gives off like a ready look but if it wasn't for this palette I wouldn't have realized that all the bronzers that I've been using, all of them have been way too dark. I thought they were the perfect color for me but now that I've used this light bronze here I've been doing it wrong my whole life. It's like the lighter the bronzer the better. It's the dark that you want for the contour, but that's completely different than actually highlighting. So I've been using this as a bronzer, and my god, it looks so pretty. And a lot of you guys have complimented me, me glowing and stuff. And I think that has a lot to do with this color here. Um, and I've figured out a new way to do my makeup as well. So thank you to this palette, and I kind of want to keep it in here. So I think I want to keep it in here. So um, this is gonna stay because I don't have any other kind of bronzers like that. Um, so I just, it needs to stay. Um, and then the Moon Child Glow Kit from Anastasia, I used it one time and I used the shade Blue Ice and then I put Lucky Clover on my nose. <laughs> And um, honestly, it's a good palette, but I'm just not feeling these colors right now. I think this would be better suited during the summer or springtime, but wintertime, I'm not really feeling it. Also, it didn't really go well with the eyeshadow palettes that I picked, so, but yeah, we're going to take this out. I used the Lorac Pro one time, and it was my video where I was like, I look like the 4th of July. <laughs> um, I used this shade all over my lid, and then I used Slate and Deep Purple. And I think I used black. I don't remember, but um, I just wasn't feeling this palette for some reason. I mean, it, it's really pretty, but I was just like, I don't know. I wasn't inspired by this palette yet, so I only used it once. I used this blush one time. I, I mean, I like the blush, but I just only used it once. So I'm going to take it out. I didn't even touch this YSL bronzer. It's definitely my shade though, so I think I'm going to keep it in because it's also light, but I just, I didn't use it. This, however, I used a bunch as well. I mixed these two. I just ran my brush across these two. This is the Benefit little four palette with Dandelion, Rocketeur, California, and the Hula Bronzer. But I swooped my brush over the Dandelion and the Rocketeur and made a really pretty shade doing that. And um, I do really, really like this blush palette, but I'm keeping in bronzer, so I don't really need to keep this in because I know if I put another blush in, I'm not going to use it because I'll go to this one. So I'm going to take it out. Let's talk about lipsticks. Okay, so I wound up not even using this Makeup Revolution lip gloss in Bare at All. I'm going to take it out. I didn't even use it. I used the Dose of Colors in the shade Slate one time. It was really pretty, but time to switch it up for another shade. I used this matte in the shade Spotlight Me. I should use this one. How many times? I used this twice. I used this twice and I really liked it, um, but it's time to switch. And then I used the mini Tarte in Daiquiri one time and I did really, really love the color. But again, it's time to switch. And this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss, this was a gift from a subscriber who is also one of my really good friends. Her name is Melissa Terry. Um, this is in the shade Champagne Glam, and my god, I love this lip gloss. Anytime you saw me wearing a lip gloss, I was wearing this every single time. I've worn this several times. I've come back in this room and reapplied this lip gloss. Like, it's not even, like, sticky. I mean, it's sticky, but not, like, that kind of bad sticky, you know what I mean? And it really does plump the lips, but it only plumps them for, like, maybe five, ten minutes, and then it kind of, like, stops, but... I'm keeping this in here. I love this. I need to buy more. I love this 
I love this. That's all there is to it. I just, I love it. Um, let's talk about some powders. So this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in Pink Haze. I used this three different times and I baked with it the first time I used it. And I mean, it was okay. I couldn't really see a difference. Um, but then I applied it all over my face two times. Both times I was kind of scared that the pink color would not come off my face, but it did. And it really did kind of blur and give like a really nice effect. So I am gonna, I, I'm gonna keep this in here cause like I'm still testing it, but so far so good with this powder. It looked really good on my skin. This Fenty powder on the other hand, I didn't really like it. I thought I liked it the first time I used it, but after that I didn't like it anymore. Um, this is in the shade Butter and it's the Pro Filter little mini powder. And first off, it has this like light scent to it and it kind of makes me nauseous. I don't know why, but it's just like a light sweet scent. And it when I put it on, I was just kind of like, oh, and then I really was still putting it on and then I kind of got nauseous smelling it. Um, I'm sensitive to smell, that's why. It was just that really weird soft sweet smell that made me kind of want to throw up. But it looked good all over my skin. But my only complaint is after I concealed and I put my powder under my eyes like normal, it really clung to my like under eye wrinkles and made them look very powdery and cakey and like just really dry and accentuated my under eye wrinkles, which I don't like. Um, so I'm going to take this out. It's not a bad one, but for me personally, and I have some under eye wrinkles, it really clung and really made my wrinkles look like 10 times bigger. So taking that out, I don't really have much to say about anything else because everything else is like staying in the drawer. Um, I have my Laura Mercier translucent, which I really need to use up. I've had this one for a, quite a while and it just won't die. It won't die. It just, there's never ending powder in here. I don't understand it because up until I want to say whatever we whenever we got the Becca Hydra Mist powder which I think was in June or July I had been using this and I bought this in 2018 and it won't die there's powder in here and it just won't die I don't understand um never ending powder um I think that is it no 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 I used this Manic Adar, what is this called a <laughs> mascara and I thought it would suck because of the wand which it does kind of suck because because of the wand but I didn't think it was actually that bad. So, I mean, I'm going to be able to use this. I thought I was going to use it once, hate it, and throw it away. But it wasn't actually that bad. So, um, that's good. And I think that is everything um, that I need to tell you about what was in this drawer. But I did cheat. Like I said, um, one of my subscribers, Sarah, sent me a box of makeup. So, I did try out two things from here. I tried the Do You Full Coverage Foundation twice. Woo! No, I used this once and then I used this twice. Both times I was wearing this, you guys were also saying I looked very glowy. And that was the um, Do You Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer. It's like a pinky glow primer. I really liked this primer. Like, I, I loved it a lot. It has a watermelon scent. Both of these do. So if you don't like scents, you're not going to like it. But this primer was really good. I really enjoyed the primer. And I'm going to put it in here because I really like it. And this, I actually did like a, a whole lot. No, I did wear this twice. I thought I did. I remember. Okay, so this was, I used this three times. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I used this twice. Both times, it didn't want to stick to my nose. Like, just the top of my nose, which I have always had a problem with, um, with foundations. But once I put my Catrice Conceal thingy, what is it called? My Catrice Green Camouflage Colorful Thing. Oh, this. Once I put my anti-red cream on my nose because I didn't wear it the first time it stuck to my nose so that was good but I've always had a problem with foundation sticking to the top of my nose that is everything and now is the easy part figuring out what I'm going to put in here for my next go around so I can go ahead and tell you I picked up my palettes um I used um, I picked up the morphe extra free star because I haven't actually used this palette in a hot minute and it's one of my favorites and I want to get back to using it so I'm going to add this to my shop my stash to use and then I'm going to use this uh, Morphe this Ofra the, their new glitch palette I did a look on it and um, if you guys want to see it go look it up and check it out but my god this palette is beautiful and I need to wear it for the next two weeks like 
it's just that good. Like normally I would put it like an older palette in here, um, but I fell too much in love with this palette that it has to go in here. Like it just has to. I am also going to add the Too Faced Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection that my subscriber Sarah sent me um, because it looks really, really pretty. And I think I can get away with mixing this shade and this shade or even just using this shade. Um, and then this looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to add this in here to try out. So as for highlighters um, and let's see oh this is not even a highlighter um neither is this or this <laughs> okay as for a highlighter I don't know what I want to do Okay, for highlighters, I'm going to do the Revolution um, Starlight. This is a liquid highlighter. I really, really do like this. It's in the shade, um, oh, it's just Starlight. And it's like this really pretty, I know I said I don't want to do like pinky, but um, I do like this one. And I'm going to add this one to my drawer. Then I'm going to add two minis because I do want to use these up. This is going to be my project fan this year. I just haven't done the video for it yet. Um, this is in Vanilla Quartz from Becca. It's just a little mini. So I'm going to add that. And then my little Nomad mini in the shade Stockholm. This is a really pretty highlight as well. So I'm going to add these two highlights and then a liquid highlight for funsies. As for blush, um, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do the Betty Boop one from Ipsy because this palette actually wasn't too bad. Um, I really did like the highlighter and the blush. So I think I'm going to use the blush out of this palette. And then I'm going to use this mini tart blush in the shade Quirky. And I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Winter Kissed Blush. I really like this blush. It's a really pretty like light pink color um well it's not even really light pink but i'm gonna use these blushes and we've already picked the bronzers and the eyeshadow so now all we have to do is pick out our lipstick so that's the last thing we need to pick out actually i want to add the farsali liquid glass radiance serum in here because it sounds really freaking good so i'm gonna add this to the bunch and use my first Solly. So we're gonna add that in there. Now for lipstick, which is the fun part. I apologize for the angle being really weird. Um, I'm gonna add a few little lipsticks here. Um, I got the little tiny itty bitty Ofra Mini here in the shade Laguna Beach. We're gonna add that lipstick, the KKW Nude Cream Number no. Two lipstick. This one was really pretty. I just got it too, but like it just has to be added in here. <laughs> the ColourPop Ultra Blotted in Oiji there. Oh, I don't even know, but. This is really pretty. Gonna add this. Um, I haven't used this one yet. This is from IBY Beauty. It's Flirt. It's a matte, matte liquid. I thought it would be really pretty since I haven't used it. Might as well throw it in here. Um, the Too Faced, um, what is this called? Two Night Stand. Their little lip gloss. Really pretty. And then the Kylie, what is this called? It's in Bikini Ball. This is the Lip Blush. Never tried it. Um, it's one of her newer formulas, so I'm going to try this out as well. And I think that is it for my everyday makeup drawer. And hopefully you guys loved it. I know this is, I was going to do something completely different, but I don't feel good. Um, I actually feel like going and throwing up right now. So um, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, let me know. Let me know your comments and thoughts about everything down below. Um, I would love to hear it. And this is what I am going to be shopping my stash for. And I do promise that the whole video angle and all that's going to change soon. 
Um, so just bear with me for the like terrible angles and whatnot right now. Um, but anyways, I guess that is it. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.